with parts of the Houston metro area receiving 50 inches of rain due to Tropical Storm Harvey. Some are calling this an 800-year flood event. Harvey has dumped an estimated 15 trillion gallons of water on the city in less than a week, more than it typically sees in six months. So why has this storm been so devastating for the southeast coast of Texas? Warmer waters in the Gulf of Mexico, paired with stagnant currents in the upper atmosphere, cause the hurricane to move and dissipate slowly. Normally, as a hurricane makes landfall, it weakens quickly as it moves away from the warm waters that fueled it. Harvey hit the Texas coast as a Category 4 hurricane and became a tropical storm a day later. But currents didn't push the storm far from the Gulf, so Harvey has been continuously fed by warm water vapor, which in turn creates heavy rainfall. Houston is especially vulnerable to flooding due to its geography. The city is less than 50 feet above sea level in some areas, and most of the soil is clay, which drains poorly, causing floodwaters to accumulate faster. Complicating matters, Houston's drainage systems were built in the early 20th century and haven't been updated to accommodate the city's booming population. Large-scale construction projects have also inhibited draining. Expanses of concrete and asphalt can prevent drainage and worsen flooding, causing water to pool into residential neighborhoods. While rainfall during Hurricane Katrina was significantly less than during Harvey, waters crested at heights of 10 to 25 feet thanks to the related storm surge. A storm surge is the rising of the sea level due to low pressure, high winds, and high waves associated with the hurricane and can play a significant role in flooding. A storm surge of more than six and a half feet was recorded at Port Lavaca, Texas, and with the storm moving up the coast into Louisiana, flooding could continue to worsen even after the rain stops.